Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend. That sounds weird, but it's funny. All right, so today we're going to talk about smart wall switch. This smart wall switch is a three gang switch in a one gang space. Correct. That means I have three spaces on the switch in a one switch space. So what are we going to do with this? Well, I've been working on compiling and putting together things for my future video room. That's right. I want to move out of my living room and move into a designated spot to make videos. This switch is going to go in there. Why is it going to go in there? Because I'm going to run this in there currently with the current fan and light setup that we have. But my plan is to run additional lighting for the video room. And I'll be able to pull a light into some wiring into the switch. And that will allow me to control these with my voice. So, what are we going to do? We're going to open this box. We're going to check out this switch. And then we're going to install at least the first gang on this three gang wall switch. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out the Zemi Smart three gang smart wall switch. All right, people. Now it's time for another edition of what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Smart wall switch by Zemi Smart. This is a three gang wall switch. That fits into a one gang box. It works with Smart Life. It works with Amazon Alexa. And it works with Google Home. The model number is KS811. Works on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi. Let's open the box. Cue the music, Phil. Instruction manual for the KS811 screws. All right, so let's look at the KS111. As I've said before, this is a three gang switch for a one gang box. I'm going to use this in my future video room. That's right, it's going to be for my video room for my YouTube videos. Right now we're going to hook it up to this guy right here, but I'm going to add a few other lights. So looking on the back, we have ground, neutral, line, load one, load two, load three. So in other words, light one, light two, light three. One, two, three. The construction of this is nice. I like the way it feels. All right, without the faceplate, here's the switch. This is the top, this is the bottom. You got two arrows up here. You got the switch itself, indicator lights over here. All plastic instructions, four screws holding the front of the faceplate to the back of the faceplate. The screws, brass, they feel good. They don't like not stick. They have a good depth to them, so you can slide the wires in them and then batten down the hatches. All right, the Zemi Smart three gang Wi Fi wall switch that fits in a one gang box. And in future videos, I'll come back to these two. All right, there we go. All right, people, so we've been here before. We're looking at a place to put a switch. Now, this is a single gang switch, which means it holds one switch. And one switch means that you can put one thing, one switch in there, or you can put, if you want to have multiple items controlled, 
like I do, I'm going to pull two additional wires and we're going to put this three gang switch in the one gang space. So we'll be able to control three things with this switch in the near future. Um, so first thing we want to look at is the wiring. You need a neutral wire, which is this wire right here. I added it to the neutral wiring pairing right here. Uh, this wire controls the brain of the switch. So from here to here, this will bring the power back into the loop that's being siphoned off into the neutral um, system. This is a ground wire. All US switches must have a ground wire and the ground wire does just what it does, says. It grounds it out. This right here is your live wire. The live wire is the one that will bite you and make you very unhappy if you do it while it's on. And this is your traveler wire, the one that actually brings the power up, or we call this the load wire. It brings the load to the fixture that you're trying to do. So now we know the players in the, in the game. We know that in the future we're going to add another couple of load wires that will go to other fixtures, uh, such as this fan, a ceiling fan, and another light fixture all itself. So the three gang switch that will fit into the one gang space will be able to control three different items with one brain. That's right. It's going to control it all with one brain and that's cool. So you won't have to have three different brains being attached into your Wi-Fi. It's one brain controlling it. So we're going to start with putting the neutral wire in place. Now, Again, I'm going to say this again, you need an insulated electrician's screwdriver. Always a good thing to have. It's insulated all the way down the shaft and into the grip. You also should have an insulated set of wire snips like this so you can strip the wires. And an insulated pair of pliers. I chose these nice needle nose. You should always turn your power off prior to doing this type of work. All right, so I like to trim the neutral wire so when it slides into the hole, there's no exposed copper coming out of the switch. So you trim it off a little bit. sure that you can get that type of fit. Now there's no really convenient way of actually getting this screwed in on camera. You're always going to get a hand in the way. Alright, so we got the neutral wire in. Now you got to make sure it's tight. You also make sure it's tight into the grouping of wires. All right, so now the wire, neutral wires are shoved to the back of the box. Now this is the live wire right here. I've turned the power off. We trim the end of the live wire. And we're going to stir, stick the live wire into the line here. All right, so now we attach the live wire. Now we're going to do the load wire. This is the one that goes to the fixture itself. And we're putting this in load wire number one. Again, that's a little bit too close for comfort. So I'm going to trim this out a little bit more. All right, so the line, this is the power, or otherwise known as live, and load, or traveler, depending on how you want to call it. The power travels down to the fixture. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. I've heard it called many different names depending on who you talk to. I guess the more professional people want to sound. And once this is connected, then the load wire can be a biter wire because it gets power when the switch is on. So those two wires could be very hazardous to your health. 
if the unit gets shocked. All right, so we're gonna make sure these are tight. We have two more positions that we can, that we're gonna fill later once we get the video room up. Right now it's my daughter's room. It's not the video room, but it's supposed to be the video room, but it's my daughter's room. She's back from college right now. Now we're gonna put the ground wire in. All right, we're gonna tighten the ground wire up. All right, so now let's go over what we just did. On this side of the switch, right here we have a load wire. This is going to the fixture. We have two additional spaces for when we run the additional wire into the box. This is your live wire right here. This is the one that will bite your butt. And this is your neutral wire right here because the neutral wire controls the brain of the switch. And on the top side we have the ground wire. Easy peasy, fresh and squeezy. Now we get to the hard part, putting everything back in the box. Now I learned briefly before that whenever you do a switch like this, and it comes with the box, the screws in the box like that, you use the screws in the box. All right, it's snug against the wall, so now we gotta do the next thing. We're gonna turn the power back on. Now we are going to install the Zemi Smart wall switch into the Smart Life app. All right, now we're gonna select the switch. Confirming that it's blinking. Confirming the Wi-Fi. The new switch has been found. We are 100% completed. Now the switch is the KS8113. We're going to rename this switch. And we're going to call it Video Room Office. Now we're done. Okay, so you can see that there's a panel of switches there. We can turn one switch on. Now these switches are not, these two are not hooked up at this point in time. But they are still controlled by the one brain. So right now we have it controlled, this switch here, on and off. Okay. And that's video room office switch one. Let's put the faceplate on because it's a good looking faceplate for this type of switch. Boom, bada bang, the switch looks great. Easy peasy, fresh and squeezy. All right, so let's take a look what other things we can do with this switch. So there's a timer. And the timer will, you can set a schedule for each individual switch right there. each switch. So if you wanted one switch to turn on and do one thing, another switch to turn on and do another thing, you can do them all at separate times. And that's pretty cool. Alright, so if you want to all on, it turns all the switches on at one time. Or all off, turns all the switches off at the same time. Let's see what else we have underneath here. Alright, it shows that it's compatible with Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and IFTT. All right, so that's pretty much the app itself. You have a timer, you have the three individual clicks that you can do with the switch, which is awesome. A three gang switch with one brain in a one gang space. Talk about multiple personalities. All right, so now you got to see the Zemi Smart three gang wall switch. That's right, the Zemi Smart three gang wall switch. It's a three gang switch in a one gang space. The cool thing about this is it has one brain that controls three items. That's right, here's a wall switch that has one brain controlling three switches. So when I run the wires into that switch from the additional lighting I'm going to be running into my video room, it will be able to recognize those and be able to work it in that switch pattern. That's cool. Because other than that, I would have to cut a hole out and pull the whole receptacle out and put a three receptacles in, then I would have three different switches with three different brains in that room. But this gives me the ability to have one brain, three switches controlled with the Zemi Smart, Smart Life, and Google Home, Alexa, all those things control it. So that's cool.
Uh, overall, the insulation is easy. You just got to make sure that nice. when you cut when you cut the wire, that you have a, just enough copper to slide into the hole and tighten on to the brass screw. Not a lot of overhang. You don't want it to be overhang so when you start moving things around that a positive and a negative run into each other. Uh, or a, a live and a travel run into each other. So just make sure you cut it right, put it in there. It's easy, it's peasy, it's fresh, it's squeezy. Uh, overall that, uh, the installation into the app, simple as pie. The Smart Life integration is awesome with the Amazon product. So before you're even done installing it into the Smart Life app, the Amazon product has been notified and has found the device. So if you're interested in the Zemi Smart three gang wall switch that fits into a one re gang receptacle, then I put a link below where you can find it. This is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future notifications. Join me on Instagram and Twitter. Also, share me with a friend because your thumbs ups and your shares really do help the channel. And I and Vector will see you soon. The walls. Gang wall space. Wall space. This is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for future notifications.